Hey everybody, happy Friday. Um, I have some information for y'all. I haven't seen you in such a long time and um, so I wanted to come in here and chat with you since it's the weekend and we have a holiday coming up and everybody of course, you know, thinks I did good Monday through Friday so I can kind of blow it for fr Saturday, Sunday. No, you can't. So I'm going to talk to you about your weekend nutrition and how to kind of stay on track without feeling, um, um, I feel like you can't see me, but I'm just going to leave my glasses on because I'm getting old. Um, so uh, I feel like you, everybody thinks it's the weekend and I can get off track and then you get off track and on Monday you're just discouraged and you're like, ah, eh, this is, so we're going to keep you on track this weekend. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about like how we stay on track and some things to remember when your weekend comes, because Monday through Friday is very scheduled. You know, you have your things you do with your kids, your kids go to school, you go to work, whatever it is. And so it's very regimented, but then you wake up Sunday, Saturday morning and you're like, Hey, I got to sleep late. I'm going to drink an extra cup of coffee, which is totally fine. Um, but then I'm going to eat whatever for breakfast because it's breakfast and I've got all day. And then, you know, lunch comes and it's, oh, let's go out for lunch. Okay, well, it's just lunch. I'm still going to work out today. And then dinner comes and the kids are like, hey, let's go eat blah, blah, blah. And whatever your thing is. Our kids are always Mexican or um, Mexican, really. Anything else I can get that is not bad. So, um, and so, you know, it just kind of, that mindset, you kind of get that mindset going, oh, it's just one day. Well, then Sunday comes and you do the same thing again. And then Monday comes and you're like, Ugh, I feel so bad. My belly hurts. My body hurts. I just don't feel good. So I'm going to give you some of my tips of things that we do to kind of keep everybody on track, not just completely, you know, blow the wheels off the whole nutrition thing. Okay. So first of all, um, kind of have a game plan in your mind on the weekends. Like my thing about the weekends is the weekends are no different. It's another day in the week. It's Saturday and Sunday, but we don't just fall off the tracks because we can. So um, typically we have the same breakfast. My kids usually will have waffles or whatever added with it. And we still try to cook relatively healthy waffles. Um, usually they're gluten-free. They're always dairy-free. We don't keep much dairy except for cheese in the house. And, um, simply because we all like almond milk. It's totally fine. So it's not like my kids want it and I won't give it to them. I'm not like that. Um, and so we usually have the same breakfast. Lunch and dinner kind of vary because sometimes my kids don't come downstairs till like 11 in the morning. And if they've had a busy week, I don't really care, whatever. Like I go ahead and do my thing and then I'll make them. The rule is by 10. If you're not down here by 10, you have to fend for yourself for breakfast. I'm not in the kitchen all day. I'm not going to do it. So we eat by 10, John and I do, and then whatever for them. And so my thoughts about that is keep it, it, okay, so let's talk about just like if Saturday. Saturday for us is going to be a little bit crazy. Um, I'll just use my weekend as an example. So today we're going out to dinner, I'm sure tonight, because my oldest daughter's performing and all my family's, well, my grandparents are all coming in town. And so I know that, well, y'all really know I don't eat a whole lot of bad stuff only because it makes my fibromyalgia hurt really, really bad. So I don't fall off very often. And when I do, I pay for it. Um, and so it's not that I can't eat anything. It's that I just don't. It makes me feel bad. It makes me hurt. And so I just don't do it. Likely we will go eat Mexican tonight. And I'm going to tell you, I will get a piece of grilled chicken with grilled mushrooms and grilled peppers. Um, I might eat a couple chips, but corn does not agree very well with any kind of autoimmune situation. So I don't typically eat that. I will drink water. Um, and if my husband has a margarita, I will have a sip of his. I will not drink it um, only because it makes me hurt. It's not because I don't love it. I am just like y'all. I love margaritas. I love chips and guacamole. I will eat their guacamole. Um, I'll just put it on my chicken or whatever. So, um, but what I'll do for all, all day today is be very mindful about my breakfast, be very mindful about my lunch, and I will probably drink my shake before we go to Mackenzie's play so that I'm not super duper hungry when it's time for dinner and I don't just gorge myself on chips. So remember, your shake is there for however you want to use it. If it makes sense to drink it before you go somewhere, then do that. If it makes sense to drink it at breakfast because that's when you love it, fine. But be mindful the rest of your day. If it's not your shake that you use as a snack, take a snack with you. Like I, I would eat carrots and celery or something like that before we go to her play. So that then I'm not starving when we're done and I'm like, ah, give me all the chips. Give me all the whatever. I would be very mindful about what, what it is I'm going to eat. So... That's the first tip 
is just think about your day and the fact that you may cheat that night, um, that you're, you want to tailor your day towards that, if that makes sense. Okay. So then same thing for us tomorrow. Um, we're home all day. She will have a very long, busy day. My in-laws are here, so we won't do a lot of going and, and doing. We'll just kind of chill around here. It's supposed to rain anyway, so whatever. We'll have a very normal breakfast, eggs, bacon, um, you know, hash browns for them. I buy gluten-free bread, so I may have some toast with it. Um, I'll tell you something else about that in just a second. So um, the other thing that John and I are doing, we're going to a concert tomorrow night with friends. So I've already chosen I'm not going to drink. They all need a designated driver, which is great. Alcohol really, really messes me up as far as like my hurting. So if you don't know what fibromyalgia is really quickly, it's um, systemic and it is, um, I can't think of the word for it. It's, it's not, it's a, almost like a tissue. It um, causes your tissue in your body to hurt, your bones to ache and things like that. So drinking is not something that I, I like it. I like drinking wine and margaritas and all that, but it really makes me hurt bad the next day. So I don't do it very often. Um, and I have to know I'm going to hurt. So tonight I won't, or tomorrow night, I'm sorry, I won't drink. Um, they're bringing snacks that I choose not to eat. Um, I try to say I can't because my kids pick up on that. So it's, I'm choosing not to eat these things because of their reaction. It's not that I can't eat these things. So that's a mindset sh set shift for you. You have to get in your head that everything is available for you to eat. It's how you feel after you eat that. Is it worth how you feel? Is it worth the sluggishness, the tiredness, the brain fog, the um, your belly may hurt, your body may hurt because you have essentially cleaned it out of junk and then all of a sudden you're putting junk back in it. And so your system is like, what the heck? I don't know what to do with this. So you have to remember that. Like sometimes the consequences for me are not worth it. I had a couple of M&Ms last night because we bought caramel M&Ms. Shut the front door. If you've never eaten those, you need to try them. On a day that you know you might cheat a little, buy a small bag. Um, I had a couple last night and I'm paying for it today. My belly has hurt all day um, because it's got milk in it. So anyway, back to my Saturday. Um, so I know that tomorrow morning we'll have a normal breakfast. Tomorrow for lunch, I probably will have a, a light lunch, you know, salad, something like that, maybe with a protein. And then for dinner, they're doing something at the tailgate thing for uh, the concert. So I'm going to drink my shake again on the way there. And then I'll make sure I just have some kind of snacks, nuts, carrots, things like that, that won't go bad in my bag um, or that I'll eat when while they're tailgating. And then I'll be good for the night. I'll drink water and I'll be fine. I may have a snack when I get home. So um, once again, but if I chose to, so let me put this in the realm of you all. If I chose to tomorrow night save because tonight I know that we're going out to eat, I want to do really well because I know tomorrow night I'm going to have a couple drinks. I'm going to a concert for goodness sakes. I'm going to have a couple drinks. I'm going to have a bite or two of this sub that they're bringing. They're bringing cheese and crackers. We're bringing a cheese ball or a, it's a chicken ball, which is so good, y'all. Um, so if I know I'm going to this uh, tailgate party concert and I want to indulge a little bit, then I would be very mindful about my day today, my day up until I get to this, because I don't want to be that person who's like, oh, you're the healthy eater. You know, like you can't eat anything. Yes, I can. I'm just choosing not to like fill my body full of bunch of junk. So I may have a glass of wine or two, sip on it. So you're not looking like the one who never has the drink. You know, you don't want to be that person. And then, um, but I'm also very confident in the fact that I'm not going to drink. Like, I don't care what you're doing. I'm not doing it, period. It doesn't bother me to say no. And if anyone fusses at me or says, oh, you're that person. Yep, I am. I'm that person. Sorry, I had a handful of nuts. Um, yeah, I am that person and I don't care. So a lot of that comes with your confidence in your nutrition. And look, that makes me feel bad. I don't want to do it. But if you're going to, which is, is totally fine, um, just be mindful again. Have a little bit of those fun foods. Have a little bit of drink. Don't blow it out. Don't just completely wreck yourself. And then wake up Sunday and know that Sunday is going to be a good day. But here we have Mother's Day on Sunday. So lots of you have said, I might cheat. I might do this. I might do that. Mother's Day is a bittersweet day for a lot of people for different reasons. So once again, whatever time your family is getting together, for that meal and you don't want to be that person who just doesn't eat the fun stuff or maybe you're just like I want to eat the fun stuff then do it do it for that time frame and then walk away if you want some dessert have a bite or two and walk away if you want to have whatever you want to have eat it 
If you're responsible for a dish, then bring a dish that's relatively healthy so you know, okay, there is one thing that I can eat. I can have some protein. I can have some of these veggies or whatever it is that you bring and then have some dessert of some kind and be done with your cheating that day. So those are my tips for like a weekend that's kind of craziness. You know you're not going to be home. You know you're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. Just be mindful. And then don't kick yourself in the pants when you're done with that weekend and you're like, uh, I had some cheats. Monday's a new day. Get that mindset back on track. We're going to rock this week. It's no big deal. We had a fun celebratory weekend. Now we're going to move on with nutrition. But you haven't wrecked your weekend. When you go into your weekend and you're like, whatever, it's a fun weekend. I'm going to blow it out. Just know you're not going to see any results on Monday. Only because you have inflammation from the food that you eat. You have sodium intake, which causes you to retain water. Um, another thing is drink your water. If you're going to have all those fun things, really up your water intake. It's going to help flush all that out. Um, so just be mindful of all those things. And no, don't get on the scales on Monday. It's going to disappoint you. Uh, wait till like Thursday or Friday where you've had some time to shed that water weight. You've had some time to like really get back in your groove, really start feeling better again. Also know when you eat that junk, your workout's gonna be sluggish. It happens to everybody. It happens to me. Less sleep, less water, and less good nutrient-dense nutrition is going to make you tired. It's going to make your heart your workout harder. Don't beat yourself up about it. Um, don't be your own worst critic. And I am pointing the finger at me because I'm being very, very hard about my legs. I just, they're not where I want them to be. There's nothing wrong with them really. But for me, I want them to look better. I feel like I work very, very hard for them not to look the way I want them to. But then I also have to go, okay, Steph, let's put life into perspective here. You look fine. It's okay. Um, but you know, we all have goals. And I was telling someone the other day, when you quit having goals, you quit having something to reach for. You quit having something to make you proud. So I want to reach a certain goal um, because I have short little stumpy legs. I want them to look a certain way. Uh, for you, whatever your goal is, is relevant. And so don't beat yourself up. Be Hold yourself accountable when I can't be there and all of us cannot be there for you. Hold yourself accountable. Um, be mindful of what you're putting in your mouth. It's not just shovel it in because you know you're going to feel bad on the inside and that's going to make you feel bad on the outside. And then you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and be disappointed. And that's not what I want for you. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and be proud that you had the confidence to say no if that's what you wanted to do. Or you had the confidence to eat in moderation and not feel bad about it. That you look at yourself in the mirror on Monday and you go, I did awesome. We had a celebratory weekend. We had an awesome weekend with family and friends and whatever you did. And I still didn't wreck my nutrition. I did awesome. I still got my workout in on the days I could. Maybe you just went for a walk with the family, whatever it is. But you, you kept your body moving. You kept your nutrition good. And remember, I say this all the time, but little bitty things create great wins. And so maybe it is that this weekend you did relatively good on your nutrition, but you didn't drink one Diet Coke. You didn't drink one glass of wine. You didn't have one dessert, whatever your thing is. You didn't do it. You just chose not to do it this weekend. That's a huge win. That's a great weekend. So remember those things when you're going through your days and you're thinking about how you're going to eat, what you're going to do. Don't freak out about a holiday. Just be mindful. Get your mind right. Tell your mind, we've got this. We can do this. We can go to an event. We can get through this day with lots of personal development. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you're not listening or, or reading personal development when you can, you're missing out. You're missing out on shifting that mindset. You're missing out on filling your brain with such good information. It's tidbits of information, y'all. It's not a whole entire book. This little book I talk about all the time, Love Louder. I am have, I have not gotten any further because I'm reading it with y'all, so I've kind of stopped but I've got to catch up. I've had a crazy busy week, but it's just, I mean, literally look here is, oh gosh, chapter 20, two pages, three pages, chapter 21. Like it's little bitty tidbits of information, but it's so good for your brain. It's so good to take that in and then give that back. And so I read a lot of things that I give back to my kids. I make my kids listen to some of it with me, um, just because they can fill their brain with good stuff too. So Anyway, and then here's my other tip. If you need something sweet, if you need something that's just savory, find a good protein bar. So here's one that we love. It's called a square bar. Let's just throw it around. Um, it's called a square bar. They have like six or seven different 
flavors, maybe more. This one's a coconut one. Um, I don't love the coconut, but um, they have a peanut butter one, which is really good. They have a new salted salted nut one. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. They have a peanut butter. They have a chocolate crunch. They have mint. They have, um, my nose is itching, sorry. They have um, all kinds of stuff. You can get them at the vitamin store. You can get them at like a Whole Foods or whatever, uh, Sprouts, things like that. And you can also get them at um, online, at squarebar.com. And sometimes they have a sale. I'm not going to lie. They're like $2 a bar. So I don't eat the whole thing at one time. I'll eat like a couple bites here. And you know what? It's really yummy to throw that in with some nuts and some popcorn and some cherries. And you have like a fun little sweet treat that you haven't killed your diet. Um, and y'all know I use the word diet loosely. You haven't killed uh, your nutrition and you've gotten something sweet and fun. If you just had your shake and you're kind of over it. RX bars are another one. They're date based. Um, so they're a little bit more sticky. These are not. They're coconut, um, like coconut sugar and dark chocolate and stuff like that. But um, these you can get at Publix. Uh, yeah, Publix has these. Another one is uh, Quest Bars are really good. I don't like the aftertaste and they're dairy-based, so I don't eat them. Um, however, um, and they're kind of like this. They're more of like a chewy bar. They're not like a, a firm bar. Um, let me think. There's one more that's really, really good, and I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, but look at the back of the ink. Okay, so let me just show you really quickly. Here's the ingredients of this. Can you see this? Here's my camera. I can't see. So they're all, it's everything I can pronounce. That's what you want to look for when you look for a bar. So everything you can pronounce it. You're not, you, there's not any kind of extra fillers and extra sugar and all that craziness in there. It's very, very simple. An RX bar, literally that's what's in it. Right there on the front. I mean, they have no bones about it. That's what's in it. Um, so just be mindful of those kinds of things. Pop you some popcorn that's light. Um, Skinny Pop or Boom Chicka Pop, stuff like that. Um, let me think. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. So, uh, roast nuts. Okay, so somebody asked me how I roast nuts, and then I'm going to wrap this up really quickly. So um, I just take raw nuts um, that have not, nothing's been done to them. So I usually take cashews, almonds, and pecans. Pecans, I just found out, have a lot of carbs, but whatever. It's a healthy fat. Um, and I just like um, spray them with avocado oil or ghee. I'm learning to use ghee, which is really wonderful for you, um, which is clarified butter. It has no lactose and it has no casein, which is a dairy protein. So I just spray my nuts. <laughs> that sounds funny. Spray them. And then I add um, like salt and honey or cinnamon or however, cayenne pepper, however you want them to taste. Just drizzle, you know, sprinkle it on there. Um, Toss that up in a bowl and then lay it on a pan. I put the oven on like 275 and I just kind of watch it until they're to your doneness. Um, it's typically like 30 minutes, but watch them and turn them over because they will burn. And there you have roasted nuts. And then you can eat them without feeling like you have the extra salt and, and oil and all that stuff that you get on just like nuts that you buy at the store. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanted to tell you really quickly was something and I don't remember. I told you I'd come back to it, and I don't remember it. Ugh. Um, that's really sad, y'all. It's terrible how my brain doesn't want to follow sometimes. But anyway, I just want to wish you all a very happy celebratory weekend. Um, like I said, it's bittersweet for all of you, but or some of you. But um, I hope you have fun with your families. I hope you celebrate and enjoy the day. Don't beat yourself up. Be mindful. Go into this weekend enjoying it and knowing that you have the confidence to make wise decisions. Um, if you have any questions, post them below here and I'll answer them. And I'm learning some new nutrition stuff. I have a new book I'm reading about um, a keto diet because several people I know have asked. And so I'm learning that. And then I'm also learning about intermittent fasting. I was intermittent fasting and I have stopped the last couple of days because I don't do very well with bigger meals. It hurts my belly. So, um... I'm learning some new stuff for y'all, and let's see. I can't think of anything else right now. So that was really my gist. Go into the weekend confident that you can do this. You have this. Um, shift your mindset to uh, make wise decisions, and don't beat yourself up when maybe you do a slip up. Because on Monday, you want to look at yourself proud and go, I did okay today. I really am proud of myself that I did good this weekend, and then I don't feel awful today. So um, anyway, y'all have an awesome weekend, and I will see you next week.